Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the ANET ET5X. Friends, it's time for another stress test, so let's get cracking. Friends, so far everything we printed was with PLA. Today we're going to do PET G, where we need to heat it to 240, and we need to get the bed between 70 and 80. Before we can do that, though, we need to unload the filament. If you've never done this before, we're just going to hit prepare change filament i'm going to leave it on the 60 and we're going to unload give it time to do its thing there we go that easy while it's heating, I've snipped this end, and I'm gonna just push this in. And I find the ANET printers to be one of my favorites for adding filament. Uh, the feed line is so straight, it's easy peasy. And then instead of actually using the mechanism, I can just feed it through with my hand, and then it's already down to the hot end, and I'll be able to simply purge a little. And you can see right here, I've already pushed it far enough that we're able to push out some of that filament. It is already loaded. And instead of the old green, I'm starting to get white. Alrighty friends, for today's print, we are gonna do one of these flexible snakes. I like them because they're a challenge for the printer because of how many separate parts there are. And when they're done, I think they're totally awesome. So let's get it set up. All right, friends, so I am in Cura right now. You can see I've got the ET5X loaded. One nice thing was this profile was just built in. I'm going to change my 0.3 millimeter layers to work with the PET G in just a couple simple steps. First, let's track down the file. If we do open file, I am in my 3D modeling, and I know that I have named this little fella HL with an asterisk because I put the words HL Mod Tech on the bottom of them. So there is my HL mod tech snake bring him in he's nice and small in his current settings it'll be about 55 minutes let's change these to pet g the first thing i want to do is go over here and make the printing temperature 240 and then i want to make the bed 75. that's all i got to do so now i'm going to slice it and put it on the sd card unfortunately i'd left that sd card in the other room so i had to run and get it but now we'll plug it in and when that opens, I'll be able to save the removal disk just that easy. So my friends, let's head to the printer and let's start printing. All right, friends, so as you can see, I had it preheating, which makes us a little bit faster. I'm gonna quickly slip in the SD card. And now we can back away from this menu. And then we wanna go to the print menu. Uh, this bed, I use the glass, obviously, and let's put a tap of Aquanet on it just because this part is kind of small. Notice it is just a dusting. Now let's move down and see if we can find our snake. Usually it is the last print that we can find. So notice I'm just going to keep going and going and going and going. And when we get there, my friends, all we do is tap OK. Easy as that. It'll start printing and we'll have a sweet little flexible snake in about 55 minutes. And let's set up a quick time-lapse recording. Only to have a failure with the GoPro mount after about four minutes. Alrighty friends, well I had a time lapse set up and obviously that failed. I'll show you that footage though. Let's slide this little guy forward and let's peel him off and see what we made. So friends, you can see that is a great skirt and it's really easy to pop this little dude off. And this is my favorite part because of the gaps in the joints. He has printed fantastic. Once again, 0.3 millimeters. So I was printing quickly. I had it at a speed of 75, and we used 240 and 75 for the bed. How cool is that? Alrighty, friends. So I have had the ET5X for quite a while now. 
printed a ton of PLA and it has all been successful. This was our first test with PETG. It came through with flying colors. Everything about this printer has been fantastic. It's efficient, it heats up fast, and I love the large bed. I've printed a few large things. I'll start sharing those videos as well. Friends, if you get a chance, I highly recommend the ANET ET5X. Friends, I will continue to keep testing it. The next one up will be ABS. Make sure you hit those notifications so you'll be the first to know. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion for the next video, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech thanks for watching have a great day